Good morning! Halika! Magkapi tayo! Welcome to the morning coffee with Father Jerry. Our text for today is from the book of John chapter 5 verses 19 to 30. It says, Jesus gave them this answer. Very truly I tell you, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees his Father is doing. Because whatever the Father does, the Son also does. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all he does. Yes, and he will show him even greater works than these, so that you will be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, even so the Son gives life to whom he is pleased to give. Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Very truly I tell you, Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged but has crossed over from death to life. Very truly I tell you, a time is coming and is now and has now come and when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this. For a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done what is good will rise to lead, and those who have done <clears throat> what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself, I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just, for I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. Thus far is the reading for our gospel reflection today. By the way, we are now on the fourth week of Lent. So, our reflections focus so much on the near-death experience of the Lord Jesus. So, that, was, that is why also our reflections is geared towards the cross. The highlight of Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection on the cross. So my transition din ang ating mga reflection since last Monday, yesterday, today, until uh, Friday. So nakalaan ang lahat ng mga sharing natin ang reflection on the fourth week of Lent. So we ask again this our guiding questions in our guiding question in our daily reflection. What is it for us? What is God's message to all of us today? Especially this gospel today from John is a little bit deeper and very theological ang mga points ng ating reflection dito. Let's start. The religious authorities charged Jesus as a Sabbath offender and blasphemous at the same time. 
they wanted to kill him <coughs> as he claimed because he claimed equality with God and that's for them a blasphemy something they thought no mortal could say without committing blasphemy yes as I've said so little did they know that Jesus was both human and divine in fact until today they cannot just accept that nature of God that God uh, that Jesus has both two natures human and divine nature Jesus is, Jesus answered their charge of breaking the Sabbath law by demonstrating God's purpose for creation and redemption that is to save and to restore life so God's love and mercy never stops for a moment Jesus continues to show the Father's mercy by healing and restoring people even on Sabbath day like what happened in the gospel yesterday when the religious leaders charged that Jesus was making himself equal with God Jesus replied that he was not acting independently of God because his relationship is a close personal relationship between father and son Jesus emphasized that to them he and the father are united in heart mind and will the mind of Jesus is the mind of God and the words of Jesus are the words of God who can claim authority and power over life and death itself. Jesus not only made such a claim, but he showed God's power to heal and restore people to wholeness, to life. He also showed the mercy of God by releasing people from their burden of sin and guilt. He even claimed to have the power to raise the dead back to life and to execute judgment on all the living and the dead as explained by Jesus through the gospel today the Jewish authorities were troubled with Jesus' claims and looked for a way to get rid of him he either had to be a madman and an impostor or who he claimed to be God's divine son and unfortunately they could not accept Jesus' claim to be the Messiah the anointed one of God sent by the father to redeem his people they sought to kill him because he claimed an authority and equality with God which they could not just accept until today. They failed to recognize that this was God's answer to the long-awaited prayers of His people. In a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. That's from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 8. So, we have in the Gospel today, clearly, Jesus, as the Son, identified Himself with the Father. And their special relationship is so intimate. Mind and Spirit and their identity as one and the same being, as theology teaches us. So our challenge is, if we wish to understand how God deals with sin and how He responds to our sinful condition, then we must look directly to the eyes of Jesus. Or we must see directly Jesus on the cross. He took away our sins upon Himself and nailed them to the cross. He 
who is equal in dignity and stature with the Father, became a servant to all of us for our sake to ransom us from the slavery of sin. He has the power to forgive us and restore our relationship with God because He paid the price for our sins. I think that's the price of His being the Son of the Father. That's why the Son is known to us as the Redeemer, the Savior, the one who offered His life for our sins. The one who offered His life on the cross in ransom for many. In ransom, in exchange of our sin and sinfulness. On the last note, Jesus could not back out now. He has to tell the hard truth, even at the expense of his own safety, of his own life. He could not afford to teach any more in stories and parables, where meanings are not immediately understood by his audience, especially the Jewish people. Now, he has to speak in plain language. He has to speak in plain words now. That is why the people tried hard to kill him when they finally realized the full claim of Jesus that he and the Father are one and the same. It overwhelms them so much that their, their anger was immediate. They want to eliminate Jesus as soon as possible. But Jesus presses on. He has to proclaim the word in favorable and dangerous times. That is why he accumulated a mixture of enemies this time. And in this time too, will band together to have him arrested, tried, and eventually killed by crucifixion. Their common hatred of the truth that Jesus made them friends afterwards. For the enemy of your enemy is a friend. That's according to him. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, increase my love for you and unite my heart and with yours that I may only seek and desire what is pleasing to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay? So, paano ito kapatid? Take note, ha? Our reflections is going down deeper and deeper na mag-highlight siya sa Good Friday on the crucifixion wherein Jesus accomplished his mission. Okay, so paano ito magkapatid? Don't forget your coffee. Magandang buhay. See you tomorrow.